The Perform Confidently class at Wild Hakers is unique in one respect, and that is that it is a confidential class. So I did not let the camera come in to um, observe our class, um, and that's a very important aspect of why our class is so effective and so um, important for the participants. We set up confidentiality from the very beginning so that everyone can feel very safe to speak about whatever personal issues they may want to share, although nobody ever has to say anything that they don't want to. And from that point on, we are able to delve into the subject of performance anxiety from many aspects and from a very individual point of view. This is very healing to many people because um, a vast majority of people are very um, shy or embarrassed to talk about how badly they feel about their nerves about performing. Some people are very um, happy to say, oh, I'm so nervous to their friends, but they don't often share how deeply they sometimes suffer with very as various aspects of, of their performance anxiety. And in our class, we are safe to do that if we want to. And I myself have experienced severe performance anxiety as a younger person and I share my own story in the class and my own experiences and so we bond very very closely as a group in the class and what's really wonderful about that is that as we learn the various uh, skills for performing confidently, the class learns also to ask for support and how to um, give support to each other. And during the, we usually start with learning how to identify negative thoughts in the mind. Um, being able to perform with great confidence. Um, is not just about practicing. Practicing well and enough is an, a very important part of, of being an excellent performer, but it is really only about half the game because if you have your mental game, just like an Olympic athlete, if you have your mental game really well down, then you have a huge edge um, over other people who have only practiced on their instrument. Um, so we talk about and learn how to identify the negative thoughts that are in, in your mind. And everybody has negative thoughts in their mind that hold them back from performing confidently and being able to be free on stage and have the poise and being able to produce on their flutes or other instruments what uh, they know that they can produce. Um, and we learn exactly how to transform those negative thoughts into positive ones. Then begin to use these positive self-talk statements in their performances at Wild Acres and put them into practice and come back to class the next day and report on how they are doing with them and how they are affecting, uh, how the thoughts are affecting their performances and they are actually growing as confident performers during the week at Wild Acres. Another skill that we use and learn and actually experience in Wild Acres in my class is that of progressive muscle relaxation and mental visualization, which is one of the most powerful techniques that we have to help a performer relax, 
and also visualize their performance the way that they want to perform. This technique is used again by Olympic athletes, by top business executives, um, by many, many elite performers, actors, dancers, and musicians um, to be able to create and mentally rehearse in their minds exactly the way they want to perform. This, this practice has been studied since the 1960s and has been found to be profoundly transformative in the lives of people who have used this technique. One of the biggest topics that people come into class and um, share about is their fear and their worries about what other people think of them. And sometimes they worry about what their friends think of them. Sometimes they're concerned about um, appearing stupid or incompetent in front of their professors. Sometimes they feel enormous pressure from um, their family or from all kinds of other uh, personal or professional factors that may enter into um, their, their anxieties. And um, we talk about um, how to um, change their viewpoint, how to work with these fears and um, be able to uh, understand them so that each individual person who, who has this fear begins to recognize that the most important person who they need to um, uh, find support and um, evaluation from is from within themselves. And this is a difficult transformation to make, but it is, it is possible to do. And those people in my class who have done these exercises and begun to um, walk down that path of uh, finding um, their own inner poise have made enormous changes in their ability to get up in front of master classes, to be able to play in their churches, if that is their goal, to be able to take auditions, to play in very high pressure performance situations. Another topic that we talk about that a lot of people, um, especially those people who are in the area of classical music, deal with all the time is that of perfectionism and we want to certainly encourage everyone to continue to have very high standards for themselves and um, that excellence is a fine goal to have but when that line of going for excellence crosses over into perfectionism that is at the level of impossibility for a human being to attain and where that striving for such a level of perfectionism um, causes a person to become unhappy, miserable, feel like a failure, then it becomes um, perhaps unhealthy and detrimental and we learn in my class how to soften that striving for impossible perfection and learn to strive for excellence without necessarily trying to be perfect. Performance anxiety is something that is very common, very okay to have because so many people um, suffer with this um, condition 
and there's nothing really wrong with you if you have performance anxiety. It's something you don't want to continue to have because if it troubles your performing in the way that you want to, um, you want to decrease your anxiety and many people learn how to get rid of it altogether. Um, um, if you'd like to join us in my class, I welcome you, I embrace you, and feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and I hope to see you at Wild Acres.